Hey Taurus, welcome back to Alchemist Tarot, serving Tarot straight up. This is your August monthly reading. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe so you know when new videos go live. And if you're a return subby, thank you so much. I always appreciate the likes, comments, and everything else you guys do to support me and this channel. So I'm gonna be pulling one Oracle card from the uh, Soul's Journey Oracle deck and then see what kind of is going around your money, career, love, communication, just things you need to be aware of, and then a card for each week for August, okay? So let's see what's going on. What's going on with Taurus? Taurus, Taurus. Um, now, my readings are for your sun, moon, or rising, so if you have Taurus in either of those areas, or all three, or two, or whatever, um, this message could resonate, okay? Taurus, 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 Taurus. Oh, oh, one flipped over. Sorry, I didn't even see it. Okay, we got courage. Taurus, it says, I find the inner strength to face my fear with confidence. Now, there's not a lot that shakes a Taurian for the most part. Um, but for some of you, it can be more of this, um, th this reminds me a lot of kind of your solar chakra it's just I, I don't know my eyes gravitated toward the center here so this yellow um is it sacral or solar solar i think <laughs> i hope i'm getting it right but i'm thinking of the solar plexus um it's, some of it is just inner strength you know taurus there's been a lot of upheaval a lot of things being pulled out of of your life you know what i mean a lot of purging and that's across the board that's not just with you um so sometimes it's hard because we want to hang on to things but this is also stepping into the unknown, being brave and courageous and seeing how things, you know, unfold. And it's really, I don't know why this saying really um, is important, but it's something that I hear Abraham Hicks really promote and talk about saying, everything is always working out for me. So it's that type of mentality. Um, let's see what is going on with Taurus. I um, have Taurus in my Ascendant, my Rising, so this certainly could impact me as well. <laughs> and I shuffle pretty extensively offline, but I would like to shuffle a few times on camera just in case. Oop. Okay. We'll take that. <clears throat> Okay. Now, <clears throat> overall energy for the month is we got the Seven of Cups. For some of you, it is being open. And this courage part could just be being open and willing to receive possibilities, opportunities that may not be in your comfort zone for us. Now, I say that because trans, you really don't like change very much. Um, very strong, grounded earth energy. Um, and you don't really like things moving around, right? And that's okay, nothing wrong with that. The Seven of Cups can mean that you have a lot of things that are gonna be offered to you this month, um, available to you this month, maybe presented to you. However, not everything with this card is what it seems. So it's very much where you want to use a very high level of discernment, meaning that if somebody's approaching you for with get, get quick rich schemes, it's not, or if it's too good to be true, it probably is. So even though you might be offered or, you know, tempted to, you know, go in a couple different directions, really do your homework, research, and fill your way through it. And if it fills off, it probably is, okay? So Taurus, kind of keep that in mind. But also, be courageous to something that, you know, does look good. It's just maybe that you're stopping yourself because it's not something that is in your comfort zone, okay? So in your money, you got two of cups. So two of cups can be, you know, relationship based. It can be relationship based spending too. Um, for many of you in the money zone, you are looking at, um, could be partnering um, investments, meaning that you can be looking for an investment partner, someone to kind of help, you know, with um, expenses or looking how to um, financially support an, um, an opportunity or project, um, also, this can mean that as a couple or as, 
maybe some of you are coming together with someone where your finances are combining and you kind of need to obviously figure that out. Um, it, that's I've personally never done that. I've always kept my finances very separate. But for some people that is like learning <laughs> to differentiate on wants and needs. Um, it looks pretty harmonious this month, money though. So it's really taking into account, you know, making sure that your money is going towards something that is gonna be um, fruitful for you, that it could impact the people in your life. So um, maybe investments that you're looking at or you're investing for people like family and friends or you know your kids or you're helping your spouse or a loved one kind of figure out what are the next steps for them. So you're kind of looking at your closest to you and how that is financially tied in some way. Um, now in career you got seven of pentacles working very hard this month when don't you work hard taurus like that's like your motto work hard <laughs> uh play later um seven of pentacles is very much planting those seeds of intention watching things grow so i'm gonna say that so jupiter is retrograding back into aquarius i believe this week i'm filming this on the 29th i think the 30th 29th so the key around this is that what you put into motion, the energy planting these seeds of intention or like putting things into motion now is going to set the tone for the rest of the year. The seven of pentacles is very much being diligent, being consistent, being very dedicated to something. So I don't feel like it's a harvest time situation at this point, but we are coming up into fall. So it's kind of like maybe in the next few months, Things are really going to be a lot more fruitful. They're going to be a lot more, um, you know, at a place where you feel like you are, you know, financially in a better place. You feel like maybe you have a little bit more breathing room. Um, for many of you, you're setting into motions, looking for a new career. So sitting, sending out those resumes, you know, um, kind of seeing what the potential is out there. Awesome. Um, Cause sometimes, like I said, you know, people are looking at their budget. People are, you know, interview processes sometimes are not like, you know, one and done. Sometimes you go through a pretty lengthy process. Um, this is being dedicated and diligent. So also for some of you are entering into a new industry or you're being asked to take on a project or responsibilities that are very different from what you're normally used to. So this is learning and trying to understand what is it, what's in front of you. So maybe it's a service or a product or you're looking at trends or you're looking at, you know, industry news or whatever the case is. But for some of you, you're really having to do a little bit more detailed work to figure out how you actually can be successful in this role or position. Um, but work looks really good. I just feel like you're going to be, there's a lot going on this month in work and you're just going to be very focused and head down. Um, in love, romance, <laughs> relationships, this is a very challenging card. I'm not going to blow smoke up your butt, but you got the Ten of Swords. So for some of you, a relationship is coming to a, an end, a final end. Um, you know, for some of you, if you are in a relationship partnered, this is just not working and it's time to go. It can be mutual or it can just be one sided. But ultimately, this has brought a lot of headaches, stress, frustration. Some of you may have felt true betrayal, at least in your mind. Um, Torians are very, very much about being honest and open. They don't bullshit. So if you're loyal, that's a huge part to them. So if they feel at any point you've been disloyal, you know, it's, it's a, it's a cut that runs really deep. So there is, you know, I hate saying this, but there's obviously it could be a relationship coming to a close. Now with the 10 of swords, the one thing about this, I guess more the positive spin is that when you're done, you're done. Okay. And, and Torians, you know, you guys are pretty easy going, I would say. I mean, there's, you really takes a lot to get you to that point of no return. But once you're there, you never look back. So for a lot of you, it's almost like this is when the book is closed, it's closed. You're not going back to the X. You're not going to, you know, you're deleting the number. You're deleting the text thread. You're deleting emails. You're deleting social media, all that stuff. Like you're completely erasing them from your existence and you're able to, with a clear mind and heart, move forward. And that's kind of the positive spin on this card, I would say, if there is one. Um, with an ending, which is a 10, you do have a new beginning that is on the horizon at some point when you're ready to put yourself back out there. For singles, I just don't see that you're going to be really looking at romance or relationships really seriously at all. I think for a lot of you, you're going through your own internal healing. You're doing a lot of self-reflection work. You are 
really focusing on getting yourself in a better position. So at some point when you are ready, you can enter into a relationship, you know, confident and that you are not bringing emotional baggage into the next one. So this month is no big deal. Look, love doesn't always have to be, you know, on the top of everyone's mind. Plus right now you have a lot going on with career and money and it looks really positive in that area. So it's not, you know, you have things that you're focusing on anyway. Communication, you came out in your own reading with the King of Pentacles, very grounded energy. I will say that for a lot of you, you know, Tauruses, you guys don't really show your emotions very much. You know, it's like you, you can put a lot of weight on your shoulders and you just kind of carry it and you, you know, it's like you don't need to share every single detail or how you feel or what's going on in your life. So I think a lot of you seeing how like, Focus you are at work in your career, especially if you're running your own business, like you're putting so much diligence and effort every single day and trying to like get those seeds to cultivate, getting more sales, getting more, you know, marketing attention, all this. Um, and I really do think that communication is very, you know, direct, no nonsense. You know, one thing about Torians is that they're really cool, calm and collected. So you know, I would say that people are probably going to ask you your opinion or your advice because you've kind of hit this level of leadership or understanding or have this insider knowledge that maybe they don't have. So they're kind of looking to you for guidance. So you might encounter this this month, but overall, I, I will say that I think you're just kind of in a position where people maybe emotionally don't know what you're going through, but they definitely see that you're a hard worker, that you like get things done, you execute amazingly, and you're really dependable and loyal, very loyal. So people will come to you because they know if it's in your hands, they don't have to worry about it. So there could be a lot of communication around that. Um, first week of August, we got the chariot card right under that two of cups. So, you know, I really do think that, you know, your most important relationships this month are really going to thrive and start to to grow and and cultivate and move forward in some way shape or form um some of you it's really just better communication for some of you it's more of that you're seeing them face to face in person and there's a lot more connectivity um but this is interesting because the chariot is ruled by cancer and we're just recently exiting out of cancer season into leo season right so for a lot of you this is you know, some pretty fast forward movement that you could be experiencing maybe even in your finances. Um, and you're trying to get a grasp and understanding on how to like manage and control things. Because a lot of times with the chariot card, it's somebody who's very confident in moving forward and it's almost like they look the part, but deep down they're like, I really don't know what I'm doing. I don't really know where I'm going, <laughs> but I'm going. So for Taurus, I think for you, you know, with relationship wise and just like, Feeling your way through things this month. I think you're just gonna have to take it as it comes. That's my advice um, Second week you got the moon card right under that seven of Pentacles lots of emotions coming up lots of things that are starting to build Again Tauruses, you guys don't really show your emotion very much a lot of times you're very much like this You know like there you don't You don't fluctuate in your emotions not like maybe a fire or an air sign, you know, where we're like or a well, what am I saying? Like a water sign. You know what I mean? Like there's, it's a really this kind of even keel. You don't get shaken up. You don't get taken off track. You really don't get thrown for much, you know. Um, you're, you're in a lot more of control of your emotions. Um, so what I would say is that there could be some details and information, especially things that maybe you've been hoping and waiting for and asking for that are going to start to emerge. Um, you know, the moon card is kind of this, hidden type of like secretive energy that things are starting to become more illuminated but you still don't have a very clear line of sight yet and hence the reason why you're kind of just having to put as much work in and do your part and just hope for the best and this is really where that courage comes in from it's like you really have to believe like i said everything is working out for you and you just have to trust that that you're following your intuition and your guide down the right path third week you got the hermit card this is no shocking like secret or surprise, especially coming underneath the 10 of swords. You know, after you go through a pretty significant ending, something that has been really cutting that you, you know, has left a really significant mark um, and you're hurt, you know, this is not an easy energy to work through. You do want to go a little bit more within, become a little bit more maybe reclusive, you know, kind of take more of an introverted type of approach and really figure out what 
are the next steps? What do I need to do to kind of just like get myself back, you know, to, to a pared down version of me where I can function on a daily basis, especially if it is around, you know, love and romance, just cause this was pulled in that kind of partnership relationship area. Um, you know, this is take your time. This is the hermit card is really about making sure that you are focusing and healing yourself and putting yourself as a priority and not having to get out there and explain everything to everybody, just kind of heal quietly. And then when you are ready to start taking some slow forward movement, you can. And you know, the hermit card is Virgo energy. So we're, you know, Virgo season's right after Leo season. And maybe that's kind of what you might start to see in like Virgo season is that you, you might, or you're kind of just need to chill and need to kind of heal and, and not worry about what everyone else is doing, staying off social media, you know, kind of going within and working on self, okay? So last week of the month, this is a card that's always a pain in the ass to get. And I, it's not an easy energy, it's a very, um, well, it can be very self-sabotaging, it's a seven of swords. I mean, I, I feel like this is really a, a some up and downs and some challenging things that you're gonna go through this month. This courage card, this inner strength, I'm gonna tell you, this is not letting fear override your confidence, Taurus. Because again, a lot of people might be fooled, like they see you and you look the part, like they wouldn't guess that you are maybe going through something, but you could be dealing with some deep stuff and no one knows about it. So and sometimes that can be this self-sabotage where you are holding so much in and because it's under this King of Pentacles, people are looking at you like, you are riding high like your 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 life is like on the up and up and in many areas that could be the case but there might be some things that you are just holding on to and keeping stuff down and unless you get really pissed off then you'll just explode and let things out but that's not the healthy way to do it right so you know the seven of swords can mean a lot of things when it comes to people trying to like backstab you or underhanded energy, but I really feel that this is something that you might be doing to yourself. Overthinking and keeping these negative thoughts or letting the fear kind of start to overwhelm you and you're not able to like vent or let it out or kind of talk it through, you really might do yourself in this last week if you take that approach. So again, this is not gonna resonate for everyone. It's not gonna happen to everyone, but if you are feeling like you're bottled up and people are have a completely different impression and they don't think that you're actually going through anything, that's not true. And maybe you need to reach out to somebody that you really do trust, you know, that you can kind of talk and say, I'm going through some pretty heavy stuff and I, no one knows and I, I don't know if I'm okay. So I, all I can tell you is that this is not, this is not the time to fake, fake it, Taurus. We know you can carry a lot of weight and we know you can deal with a lot of stuff. The King of Pentacles, you know, you would never know, but don't hold stuff back just because you don't want to share and be open and you might look weak. That's where we got to be past that, right? So Taurus, I wish you the best of luck. Please make sure you subscribe. Um, follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I post there quite a bit and I cannot wait to see what holds in the next month of September for you. Bye guys.